This is the Blessed Assurance Preparatory School 2 Registration Center at Tea Garden within the Ablukuma South District of the Greater Accra Region. With very little regard for the social distancing directive, these registrants trooped in to participate in the registration process. According to the health officer at the center, Rebecca Frempong, the EC officials and the police gave up on them after several failed attempts to ensure they complied with the health safety protocols. That's it. There is no social distance. You see them? They are always fighting. And we, we need a police, policemen around. Because right now, all the policemen, they have gone. So if you can't control them, then there will be fights here. You see right now, look at what is going on there. So there is no social distance. That's why I say right now, I project we need the policemen around to help us. Without them, we can't do anything. For here, we don't, they don't regard the social distance. They don't. Even the policemen are here to, to give us the distance, but they don't, they don't go by the distance. That is their nature. They don't, they don't care about anything. Uh, maybe you come here, you don't have the virus. When you go home, then you take the virus, go home, then you go and give it to other people. So I'm pleading to the government and my officials to come and help us with the security officials to keep the social distance because we have two days to go, tomorrow and Sunday. The situation was not so different from the St. Moses Preparatory School, Chemuena 2, as the applicants had queued on the veranda of a structure waiting to be attended to in an enclosed area. According to the EC officer of the center, this was to ensure that the devices for the process were not exposed to the rains. We were at an open space, but because of the rain, we have to move our equipment because it cannot, we can't allow it to be beaten by the rain. So that's why we moved to this place. Some of the applicants complained of a slow process. For me, I think the process is very, it's very, very slow. As, as I'm speaking to you, I came here around uh, nine something. And then looking at the time, it is about 11 times, so almost two hours, and the queue that I came to uh, meet, it is still there. So I don't know what is uh, happening inside there. In fact, the process is very, very slow. And I'm afraid even uh, by the end of the six days that they are saying, I'm not sure they can register uh, about 90% or 90% uh, of the population here in uh, Chemwena. Surprisingly, the aged and other vulnerable registrants at the Ablokuma Central District Office of the Electoral Commission were undertaking the registration exercise under strict adherence to the physical distance protocol. Registration Supervisor Joseph Mensasam spoke to City News on the measures taken for a smooth process. In the morning when we come, we, come, we, we, we meet the elderly people, the aged and then the lactating mothers in a queue. So what we do is we, we, we give them numbers from 1 to 150. So what we do is the first 100 people will remain. Those beyond 100 will go and then we ask them to come around 2 o'clock. So as you can see, the place is oddly because we started serving those that their number fell between the 1 and then 200. And then after 101 to 150, we ask them to come. And even today, the number that we had was 132. So which is we are expecting 32 to come back. Some of the vulnerable persons seeking to acquire the new voters' ID card also spoke to City News. As the COVID-19 is, uh, it, it's not like any, uh, it's, it's not like uh, some sicknesses that you can see with your naked eyes. So we must all try to uh, 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 make sure whatever the president has said, we should all go about it so that we can be safe. Because if you can see that I'm leaping, they say, oh, this man is leaping, so when I'm coming here, you, you run away. But this is all like that. You will not know where you contact these sicknesses from. So we must be very, very careful to observe the protocols that they've given us. Yeah, the COVID-19 is here to stay, and um, it's, it's a very serious sickness, more than even HIV AIDS. So I would advise everybody adheres to the safety protocol. Put on the nose marks. When you go and you're asked to wash your hands, you do that and then maintain social distancing.